When the feds raided Puffy's houses, they found tapes with evidence of Chris Jenner being part of some criminal activities. The connection between Kris Jenner and Diddy's crimes appears to be significant and far-reaching. One of the key linchpins is Corey Gamble, the uh, boyfriend of pimp mama Kris Jenner. 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to unfollow Diddy, right? Well, Diddy is under intense scrutiny these days. Before he faces jail time, it appears he's going to expose others, with the Kardashians at the top of his list. Rumor has it that Diddy and the Kardashians have been secretly collaborating for years. Some even speculate that Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner attended Diddy's infamous parties. And if that wasn't enough, there are whispers that Kim was Diddy's right-hand woman when it came to paying off his mistresses and sweeping his dirty laundry under the rug. To make things more complicated, Kanye West might reveal some secrets before the authorities can gather their own evidence. What does Kanye know? And is he really involved in Diddy's hidden activities? You think about if Harley was part of intelligence, right? What kind of people you think are surrounding my kids? What kind of people you think are in that house? Diddy's year has gone from bad to worse, with one crisis after another. No one expected Homeland Security to raid his homes. Authorities searched his luxurious mansions in Miami and Los Angeles, reportedly finding firearms, multiple electronics, and other incriminating evidence. It felt like a scene from a thriller movie. Amidst the chaos, keen-eyed internet detectives noticed something curious. The day before the raid, Kim Kardashian unfollowed Diddy on Instagram. Fans found this highly suspicious. Why? Kim had plenty of chances to distance herself from Diddy, like when Cassie filed her lawsuit against him. But she chose to unfollow him just before the raid, raising eyebrows and speculation that she knew about it in advance. Kim, who has been rumored to attend Diddy's infamous parties, seems to be trying to erase any evidence of their relationship. Fans believe that if Diddy's secrets come to light, it could spell disaster for the Kardashians. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. At 5.30 a.m.? But there's more to the story. Lou Taylor and Corey Gamble, both with significant roles in Diddy's empire, also have ties to the Kardashians. Now, if you've heard about Lou Taylor in the past, you probably know she is the devil for putting Britney Spears and other artists under conservatorship. Apparently, she tried to do the same to Justin Bieber and Lindsay Lohan. Um, Mike Lohan, which is um, the Lohan girl, Lindsay Lohan's daddy, accused Lou Taylor um, and the mama, Dina Lohan, for trying to put Lindsay Lohan in a conservatorship concerning her money. They don't call her Lucifer for nothing. Despite Lou Taylor's controversial reputation, she is undeniably effective. Known for her ruthless efficiency, Taylor is just the kind of person the Kardashians would collaborate with. Fans discovered their connection in 2020 when public filings revealed that Taylor's company, TriStar Sports and Entertainment, was involved with several Kardashian businesses, including Kylie Cosmetics, Kendall Jenner Inc., Cactus Jack Enterprises LLC, and KKW Beauty. My advice is that you give Taylor a call and try to make him in. So what does this have to do with Diddy and the Kardashians? If you check out Lou Taylor's client list, you'll find Sean Diddy Combs there too. Taylor began her career at Uptown Records, joining a management firm called Davos, which led her into Diddy's orbit. Surprisingly, they are still working together. An account on X, formerly Twitter, by the name of at Mexdefying, revealed the alleged connections between Taylor and Diddy, highlighting how these two have been operating unnoticed for years. Diddy and L. Taylor are both connected to the Live Nation crew. They seem to be the most prolific corporation in the music industry that protects abusers. Another tweet said, Diddy and Lou Taylor are both tied to a Christian doctrine that champions the prosperity gospel and fetishizes proximity to celebrities. One example being Church Own. In this new lawsuit with P. Diddy, civil suit, you can read all these things you know that he did, including S. Trafficking of Minors, and in the court documents, this woman right here, Robin Greenhill, is listed as the person who paid the S. workers. Apparently, Lou has also been paying off Diddy's victims using a church slush fund. This person by the name of Lou Taylor is apparently Diddy's manager. Um, and this Lou Taylor woman is also on the board of Hillsong's church home. So 
Um, Lou Taylor apparently is paying off, allegedly, some of Diddy's victims from the slush fund through some church fund, okay? And of course, Kris Jenner is behind it all. Kim Kardashian mama has been making these girls pay 10% tithes to some church that Lou Taylor and her husband is basically owner, co-owner, whatever. Just how deep do their ties run? Quite deep, considering we still have Corey Gamble in the mix. For those who don't know, Corey is Kris Jenner's boyfriend. They first met at a party in 2014, during a rough patch between Kris and Caitlyn Jenner. Corey became Kris's knight in shining armor, and they were soon spotted on numerous romantic dates. By March 22, 2015, Kris made their relationship official by featuring Corey on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. As far as we know, they are still together. When Corey first appeared, fans didn't think much of him, assuming the relationship would fizzle out. However, it turns out that Corey might be the Kardashian family's secret weapon. He's apparently related to Diddy, which fans discovered through photos of Corey at Kim Porter's house on the day she passed away. How am I just now finding out that not only was Corey Gamble extremely close to Kim Porter and Diddy, he was there. He was there when the coroners arrived. And then, there's a picture of Kim Porter and Corey floating around the internet. Corey Gamble was so close with Kim Porter, so close to the point that he has said that he helped raise P. Diddy's children. Fans believe that Corey Gamble might be a handler, someone celebrities call in when things go sideways and they need someone to clean up the mess. This could explain why he's always by Diddy's side. Because let's be honest, if there was someone who needs a handler right now, it's Sean Diddy Combs. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. So where does Kanye fit into all of this? Diddy, give him a call. Tell him, tell him we ain't like the t-shirt. Tell him like right now the agenda is this is this is the voting agenda for the celebrities for the black. Make him do exactly what LeBron would do. Make him do exactly what Drake would do. Well, he's never been a fan of Lou Taylor. Remember back in 2020 when he went off during his presidential campaign rally? After that, he took to Twitter, accusing Kim and Chris of trying to lock him up. Kanye also mentioned someone called Call Me, whom fans speculate is Corey Gamble. At the time, many brushed off Kanye's comments, but in hindsight, it seems like he was crying out for help. I have you institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date, play date with the kids just won't be the same. This is the way a Hollywood, a Hollywood trainer was talking to me. Given the family's close ties to Lou Taylor and her expertise in such matters, fans speculate that Chris and Kim may have enlisted Taylor's help to remove Kanye from the picture. Lou Taylor has a reputation for getting involved in celebrities' lives, labeling them mentally ill and placing them under conservatorships, all while profiting immensely. As for Corey, Kanye has never trusted him and even once referred to him as a CIA agent. Kanye has also expressed concerns about the influence of the people surrounding his kids within the Kardashians. What kind of handlers, that's right. What kind of people you think are surrounding my kids? What kind of people you think are in that house? Kanye has reached his limit with the Kardashians, especially Kim. Allegedly, he's preparing to expose his ex-wife's involvement in Diddy's events. With Kanye posed to reveal the Kardashians' connections to Diddy, there's a sense of urgency at their house. Behind the scenes, Chris and her daughters are reportedly taking steps to protect themselves legally. Rumors suggest they're lawyering up due to incriminating information on tapes related to Diddy's events, including minors. The feds are looking for Chris Jenner. When the feds raided Puffy's houses, they found tapes with evidence of Kris Jenner being part of some criminal activities. As for fans, they couldn't be happier for West getting the last laugh. 
For years, he's endured ridicule from the Kardashians, but now he can sit back and watch karma take its course. One person commented, I knew Kanye wasn't crazy, I always stood by him, and now I'm smiling ear to ear. Nothing makes me happier than seeing evil finally exposed. But what's your take on the situation? Do you believe Kim is truly linked to Diddy 